<laughs> anyway, um, half past two, brilliant. Um, oh. what did happen to that bloke who used to make the sound effects in Police Academy? I don't know. He was brilliant, wasn't he? Do you remember him? I don't remember was him. he called Hightower? Yeah, he was good. Yeah? If anyone knows, give us a call. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, girls and boys. Um, you embarrass yourself then, Gervais. What? Well, we've had a number of calls and emails. Yeah. Pointing out that the Hindenburg disaster was not because the Ze Zeppelin was filled with helium. Hydrogen. But filled with hydrogen. All right, okay. Well, I thought about that when he told me in the week. Oh, yeah, but... Well, I assumed he must have got that off from the d documentary. So it just, it just went up. So that's, that's probably why the, the voices didn't go That was me. probably why it didn't feature in the documentary. Yeah. But it seems to me we should have thought of that. I mean, like, it's school fates and stuff where they're, like, filling little balloons with helium. Yeah. You know, there'd be all kinds of horror stories if they were just, you know, just blowing up, you know, left, right and centre. I don't think you can just blow helium up like that, can you? What? Isn't that the point? What yeah. I'm saying is it's not, it's, it can be potentially lethal as hydrogen, helium. Well, what, hydrogen isn't as bad as helium? No, helium's not as bad as hydrogen. I don't know what you're saying, because the, the Hindenburg was hydrogen. Yeah, and I'm saying, why did we think it was helium? That's crazy. You go to fates, school fates and stuff with, like, little kids, and they're filling up little balloons with helium. They wouldn't have big canisters of helium, you know, a, a charity event, or a, you know, a small kind of bring by sale if it was deadly. Yeah, but it's not as big, I mean, when you buy those balloons at a fair, it's not as big as that, uh... That, that but presumably balloon. it's still flammable, is it? But it was it wasn't the fact of how dangerous the the rare gas was, or the uh, it was the fact that um, it was made of this thing that caught fire and just went. There was nothing, a hole in it would have been as bad. It just it just burnt quickly and fell to the ground because the hydrogen or helium escaped. It wasn't. It was irrelevant that what what the gas was, wasn't it? I thought it was that there was supposed to be some kind of explosion. Well, I don't know what it was, but the point is because the outer thing was so thin, right? The the gas inside escaped and it fell to the so ground. So it just fell to the ground like one of the, like when you've popped a balloon. Mm. Well, not not not. He didn't quite. sort of go. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like flap all over no. the place and make a zany noise. But I tell you what, cause when I was looking on the internet in the week for it, I was like trying to get a bit more info on it. Guess how many balloons it would take helium balloons to lift a human up. <laughs> <laughs> go on, six thousand. Should we do it? Come on. Brilliant. Next week, that's got to be a challenge. Can we, can we, is, if, is there a sort of balloon company or, or, or some sort of, you know, uh, party company that are willing to sponsor us to lift Carl <laughs> into the air with right. helium balloons? Ten feet off the ground, where we're tethering him down, right? Is there someone willing to pay for 6,000 balloons to try and lift We can maybe up? get some kind of company to sponsor it. I'm thinking like Electrolux, if they're going to sponsor puddings. If they're going to sponsor puddings, uh, you know, and, uh, 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 celebrities, Russ Abbott, they will sponsor Carl being lift. Heat magazine, Heat magazine, come on. They're a big selling, a very successful magazine there, and they know about Carl, because they've mentioned him. Heat magazine, can we have a heat balloon? Yeah? Oh, six Carl, is an awful into lot, the air, six, th yeah. It's the heat, 6,000 Carl challenge. Lift Carl ten feet into the air. Yeah. Come on. What about if it was Carl and Dr. Fox? We can get two different balloons. I think we need a lot more than six thousand. A lot more from Fox, isn't it? Mix, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the highs, well, I just explained what I'm laughing at. Right? Uh, we just had a call um, from someone saying his company was sponsor Carl, right, to be raised by all these balloons if he could have a walk-on part in the office. And uh, uh, we immediately went, oh, we're worried about that sort of thing. You can't really promise that artistically. You know? And I was worried about the legality of it as well. How can you promise someone that for personal gain that's a private and all that sort of stuff, right? And I went, oh, I don't know. And anyway, put the phone down to him and Carl went. <laughs> I love the fact you're more effing worried about that than me being raised 30 feet in the effing air. <laughs> you started getting scared, did you? Are you worried about it? Well, You're quite excited about the idea of the challenge, though, aren't you? I like the idea, but I want, like... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like the idea, Carl? Oh, what if it went all wrong and we're there going, oh, the humanity of it! I think we need Carl to get... Carl is just, he's just... I'd be on the rope, would pull out my trousers <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it's definitely got to be Dr. Fox if that's going to happen. Uh, oh, oh, God! Oh, we've got to do this! 
So hang on, but let's just no. think about the because wait a minute. Bef I mean, we say this, but we'd have to get all kinds of health and safety people involved. No, we no, we wouldn't. Of course we can. Just start <laughs> in the air. No, you're allowed to do it on private land, aren't you? Look what happened to the Hindenburg. No, but that was there was that was, <laughs> was just like there was lots of people died. <laughs> Listen, look, all we do is we get all, we get someone right. But what if what if he get, he gets loose and he just floats off into the air? <laughs> And he meets his magpie that he lost. He yeah, used to peck his grip down. Oh, so we're, we're so excited about this. Talking? Listen, we've got to do this. No, but Please. Just have a minute. Let's no. just stop and think about it. It's right. 60,000 balloons. balloons. No, no it's, it's not. It's 6,000. 6, 6, but 6,000 balloons are a lot of balloons. No, it's not. No, no, oh, it's not. Silly. For 6, sponsorship, 000. Sponsorship, people pay for uh, No, listen, it's worth it. There must be a company out there that are paying for this, just so we can film well, it. Well, is there not an easier way of just getting <laughs> one big balloon? Then it's the challenge is no. no challenge. There. No, it's yeah, got to be, it's got our people coming up and hooking balloons. It'd be like Buckaroo. And the person who puts the balloon that actually raises him 10 feet wins a prize or something. So hang on, so what we got, we've got each person with like oh. 500 balloons. Yeah. That's mad, you, can you can imagine how many balloons that is, that's ludicrous. 6,000? Yeah. That's an awful lot of balloons. I don't know, you d what, we, there must be someone that, that, that could do this. Oh look, people have walked on the moon for Christ's sake, we can raise Carl Pilkington with some balloons. Yes, but they had a NASA budget, we've got XFM behind us. Yeah, but balloons, <laughs> yeah. balloons are cheap, you can get about a pack of 25 for about 150. <laughs> right, fine. <laughs> no, True. Yeah, the helium though, Carl, you can't just like attach yourself to a pack of balloons. No, what? Oh, what, you think we blow them all up? With helium. Right. Oh. Off you go. But then we can do something with the balloons, can't we? Like, release them afterwards. Oh, yeah. we'll release them back into the wild. <laughs> Brilliant. As a sign of peace. <laughs> <laughs> Fly, my British fly, Listen, be free. I am so excited. I have not been so excited about and, and so I thought that Robin Ince was going to stay in my cupboard for a thousand pounds. Look, we've got to, we've got to do 6, this. Six thousand balloons. I don't think it's going to happen. That's an awful lot of balloons, and I just don't oh. think, I don't see how we can tether them all to Carl. He's a small man. No, but because you have like different lengths, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Carl knows. Can you uh, think about the logistics of this? Oh, someone must know. There must be a company. There's a bloke willing to do it. I know, I know he doesn't know the technology of it. He's willing to sort of stumble. And he's got a company just on, has we, access to helium like that. So we can do this. Come on, London. Well, someone's done Londoners. It. it was on the internet already, so someone obviously has done it. Yeah. So they didn't say, "Oh, we can't get hold of the balloon." No, they probably worked it out, didn't they? Must I can't. Carl, you're oh, more yeah. excited about this than anything else. About your education, about your exam well, results. You're so excited. And, and we'll have a little rope. We'll like flying a little kite, a little Carl. we uh, let's go. Carl, what will you Carl. wear? Like a one-piece jumpsuit? Yeah, I mean, no, with sponsorship all over it. Oh, it'd be yeah. great. You're like Jackie Stewart, and just as you go up your little face, oh my god, I'm not gonna sleep until this is done. This is the most exciting thing ever. Only ten feet. Ten feet, yeah, and we we're need some, We'd need some kind of rope to sort of tether you to the ground. Yeah. We don't want you sort of flying <laughs> this off. This is gonna be great. And you'd have a little crush helmet and everything, and li little Deedee boppers on the crush helmet, like yeah. it's a little flying ant. Definitely, definitely. We give him a little, oh my god, can we give you an outfit like little wings and everything? Can we oh. paint your face with like children's no, paint? I'm not yeah. Doing all that. Why? Oh, because no, that would be silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Carl, do this. Do it. We do it for charity. We do it for charity. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, this is we'll do it for brilliant. children in need. Please, just phone in if you got if you can help us lift Carl up thirty feet. Let's say thirty. I think feet. it has to be a decent. Yeah, yeah. It has to be a decent. What well, is there a world record? Because we want to break that. If we yeah, we want to break that. What is the world record for raising a man by balloons? Yeah. Okay, oh. so listen, let's just, let's just finalise oh. details here. We've got, uh, I'm so excited. Email address, ricky.gervais yeah. at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Ricky.gervais yeah. at xfm.co.uk. What's the number? UK. What's the number? The number, Carl? 08700 800 1234. Lift, Carl. Lift, Carl. 0870 800 That's sponsored by Heat Magazine and you, or Maybe else. even if you've just got an idea about how we might be able to organise it, how we might be able to get it done, if you've got contacts, anything, just get in touch, give us some information. Oh, oh, that'd be great. I'm oh, not like a Beatles track for song for for the lovers. Oh man, it's uh, it's off the Help album and it's um, you've got to hide your love away. Oh, just think of his little face as he goes. Can you tell him Yeah. Well, XFM, we're nearly the end of the show. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. We've enjoyed your company, Carl. We're going to try and get Carl in the air. Anyone that can help us, take him up with helium balloons. Um, our friend Johnny Mango called again. And uh, apparently the record's 11,000 feet. Carl is getting a little bit nervous. Yeah, the, the world record is 11,631 feet raised by hot air balloons. How, yeah. how tall is uh, Canary Wolf? <coughs> it's 11,631 feet. Exactly. What? I don't know, Carl. Is it how much higher? It's a long way. A, a, a more. Yeah, I'm not doing lot. Because I'm like six foot something. Yeah, think of that. Let's just look at Steve. All right. Yeah. But you can change your record, you could say, well, the sort of balloons are the one with, with Mickey Mouse on it or something. Yeah, could I just, yeah, uh, could I just say something? That man did 11,000 feet, but he wasn't naked. <laughs> Alright? Come on, Carl. 
Do you be the your thirty feet will be the world record for naked ballooning. Yeah? Mm. Think about it. Alright, it's for charity. Well, thank you for listening, everyone. We are going to raise Carl. We are going to raise Carl. And after, after Carl said, and just to think, my teacher said I'd never be a high flyer. So this is your chance, Carl, to shine, to fly. So It'll be brilliant. Uh, this is a final song for the ladies. Bell and Sebastian, we've not heard uh, them for oh. a while. This is from, uh, it's actually a B-side or a triple side or whatever you call it. Um, track three on a single called Jonathan David. This is The Beautiful, The Loneliness of the Middle Distance Runner. Play Goodbye. Goodbye.